Hello viewers, in this particular video we are going to discuss about uh, the different types of uh, car bodies. So if you just look at the table of content or the content which we are going to discuss in this particular video here, of course we are going to discuss about uh, the car body styles. There are different types of styles are there. We are going to take uh, each and every one, everything and then we will discuss it one by one. Uh, there are saloon or a sedan kind of a car is there. Then we are going to also discuss about uh, the convertible car and then limousine type of car, history type of car, step construction, then uh, the sports coupe kind of a car construction, coupe car, uh, SUV, what you call as sports utility vehicle and multi-utility vehicle. So these are the content that we are going to discuss in this particular video. So based on this discussion, at last we will have an EMCQ. So let's start. So if you just observe the uh, car body style, so we can able to observe different types of car bodies. Uh, they are saloon or a sedan. So this is the most common kind of uh, vehicle body that we are uh, observing in this uh, cities as well as the on road. Convertible, of course, in India uh, we cannot able to observe it. Only a few people have the convertible. Then limousine. This is only meant for uh, uh, the very VIP people and luxurious kind of uh, car. The estate car uh, can able to observe. So this is uh, one of the type of uh, common car body styles where uh, which includes uh, you can able to transport other goods along with the passenger. Sports coupe which will give you a better performance rather than fuel economy. Then coupe of course there will be four door coupe, two door coupe, four seater, four, two seater all those things. Then SUV sports utility vehicle so where your luxury as well as the sporty kind of uh, thing will be coming in this particular car body. Multi utility vehicle, as the name itself indicates, it is it can be used for multi purpose. So let's go through one by one. At first, we we'll say the sedan, we can also call it a sedan or a saloon. So these kind of uh, sedan or a saloon car is meant for passengers transport a passenger. It will come with uh, the two rows of a seat. If it is with the two rows of seat, sometimes it will be like a four door kind of a car saloon or two door kind of a saloon. Uh, this vehicle will have a separate rear luggage. You can able to observe that at the rear end, there will be separate boot spaces available. You can able to uh, carry the luggages whenever you are going uh, to any kind of destination. Uh, you, you might have observed these kind of uh, cars commonly on the road. If you just look uh, uh, the different types of a sedan or a saloon car, there are different types. So this type of car is called as four-door saloon. As the name itself indicates, you might have observed that there will be a four-door four door in this particular car, two on either side and two doors for each row of the seat so that it will be very easy for a driver and a passenger to get into the car or getting out of the car. So the next one is two door saloon. Of course here you can guess that uh, there will be only two seats will be available. So for the two seats uh, the two door will be provided. Uh, the, remaining, the, the remaining feature will be the same. So then this is nothing but a pillar less saloon. As the name itself indicates, there won't be any pillar. Pillar is nothing but you might have observed in the, uh, the diagram. There is no a pillar in between. In the four door saloon, uh, you might have observed there will be a pillar, what you call as B pillar generally. That pillar is completely eliminated in this kind of pillar less saloon. You might have asked uh, there will be an advantage. So by removing this pillar, it 
will be very easy for a passenger or a driver or passengers to get in and get out of the vehicle. Based on this, uh, we have a one video. Here you can see that uh, the B pillar, what you call as the B pillar, has been completely eliminated. So, this is the reason why this kind of car body style is called as pillar less sedan. Next type of, uh, of sedan car is hatchback. So hatchback is nothing but in the diagram you can able to observe uh, the wherever the roof ends. From there, there will be a hinge. Through that hinge, we can able to uh, open the door from the rear side. So we can able to keep the luggages or the extra additional wheel or fifth wheel, what you call as. So this kind of construction is called as hatchback kind of. So then the fast pack. So fast pack is nothing but in this particular image you can able to observe there will be a streamlining or a sloping kind of curve has been given right from the roof of the vehicle to till the end of the uh, vehicle body. So there in between there will be a hinge and will be provided so that we can able to open that particular door to keep the luggage. So in the notch back, uh, we can able to clearly distinguish, we can able to recognize uh, the boot space as well as the roof. So the roof has been have a sharp curve, and then after that there will be the boot space. This kind of design is called as a notch back saloon. So the next type of uh, car body style is the convertible. So convertible is nothing but generally in the previous uh, slide you might have observed there will be a hard uh, roof for the vehicle body. So here there will be a roof for a vehicle but this one uh, changes we can able to remove out the, uh, the roof of the vehicle what you call as folding uh, type of uh, the retractable roof or a folding away. So there will be an hinge which is provided at uh, the rear end and whenever you just press uh, any kind of a button it can be operated through the hydraulic or pneumatic kind of a thing. So if the, all the uh, rear uh, the roof material will going to be folded or retracted and uh, sent to the back side of the vehicle. Thereby we can able to feel the uh, open uh, air kind of a thing. And uh, generally, in the initial stages, these uh, convertible come up with uh, the manually operation. But nowadays, there will be uh, automatically uh, operating systems are there. So this will be operated by using either uh, hydraulically or pneumatically. So in this convertible type of uh, body style, also uh, there are two types. So one is uh, there are two options. One is either you can able to design the roof uh, in a soft material or you can design the roof with a rigid or a hard material. So wherever the soft material construction is necessary, we can able to use this kind of vinyl or a canvas or either 
any textile or flow kind of material, hard work material. So in this particular chip uh, image, you can able to observe that. This is an, just an example of a soft material kind of uh, retractable. Uh, this animation shows uh, how the roof has been folded and it has been uh, get into the back side of the cap. By with the push of a button, we can able to the complete uh, roof of the car has been detached. This is an example for soft top. So based on this particular topic, we'll have uh, one uh, video. In a that uh, there is a uh, soft material. Now it has been covered. Let's have a view from the inside the vehicle how it has been operated with a push up a button. Some operating mechanism like that and roof will come coming further. Then one unpack the manual TV blocking provided to box. The roof is not heated, then the push of a button is able to hold the entire roof to move the basic back side of the vehicle. So before pushing the button, we need to uh, open it manually, release the lock, then push a button, push the button. The entire roof is then folded. Uh, with respect to the soft top then the another uh, type of uh, convertible is hard top convertible so where the roof is uh, made up of a hard material you can call it some form of uh, steel material or you can use uh, aluminium to reduce the weight but still you want to uh, you want uh, a still lesser weight of uh, the uh, roof you can go for carbon fiber or a plastic material so this is an example uh, which shows the GIF image or animated image shows the, how the mechanism uh, of uh, the hard top retractable. This also works on the same way. Uh, the roof will be divided into the number of uh, divisions. For a two-seater, only a uh, minimum of two divisions is enough. Even for a four-seater, uh, the two, two, three, and then four divisions are necessary as the length of the wheelbase of uh, the vehicle is goes on increases, the divisions is put on increases. The mechanism will be same, either you can uh, operate it by using hydraulic or pneumatic. So based on uh, this particular hard top convertible, we'll have a video, let's watch a video. This particular uh, car will have a uh, having uh, two rows, so that's why you can able to observe that there are three kind of partitions. So as the number of uh, rows of the seat increases, increases the length. So that's why we have uh, three uh, partitions of the roof. type of uh, car body is a limousine. Uh, the diagram as you see uh, it's having a number of uh, uh, seat rows. So 
more than a two number of rows will be available. This is especially designed for uh, the luxury aspect, luxury kind of criteria. So that's why to provide more space, the wheelbase of uh, the car is maximum, the more wheelbase. So wheelbase is nothing but the distance between the center point of the front wheel as well as the rear wheel. It's called as wheelbase. So since the more the number of the rows, more the length of the wheelbase. So this has been uh, extended by uh, using uh, the manufacturer or by independent coach builders will be there so they can able to uh, modify this particular coach. Since uh, this is a luxurious kind of uh, uh, design, there will be a compartment. So driver compartment will be separate and then passenger compartment will be separate. It has been separated by using one wall. In between there will be a glass uh, window or sliding window will be there. In case if you want to make a communication, there will be a phone call can be provided. So because since this is a luxury kind of a vehicle, uh, so all these kind of uh, facilities will be available inside uh, this particular limousine type of a car body. To make a communication with the driver is possible manually as well as through the phone call. Manually is nothing but we need to passenger need to slide the door and you can talk to the driver or you can use a phone call. So you, through the phone call on the mic the speaker, you can able to have a communication between the passenger as well as the driver. So there are different types of uh, uh, limousine vehicle. So generally, it's called as a traditional. Traditional is nothing but the old kind of limousine where the limousine has been born. This is a, one of the vehicle which is uh, used by American president. And then modern limousine. So modern limousine nowadays you might have uh, uh, seen in some of the uh, popular brands. This is one of the popular brand Rolls Royce. Uh, which come across with the limousine. Then the exotic limousine. This exotic limousine is meant for a party or kind of an enjoyment or a luxury kind of uh, life. Inside this, we can have a, a, a luxury instrument, uh, the uh, speaker, music system, video system, audio system, everything will be available inside this particular limousine. This is only meant for the party. The novelty limousine is also comes under one of the criteria on the type of a limousine. It's having a, a different compartment. Then at last, a Trabant limousine where the more an additional axle will be provided to withstand the more load and as well as to increase the traction. So the power has been given to both the uh, axle, uh, rear axle, so that the traction is also maximum and then the power uh, developed uh, will be maximum. It can able to propel the vehicle at an even faster rate compared to other type of limousine. And it can also be able to withstand more load as well. So based on this, we'll have a, a video which shows different types of limousine are designed. So we'll have a, you'll have a, a better kind of an understanding by you know, looking those things. Uh, these are the different types of uh, uh, limousine designs. Some of the manufacturers can able to modify it, uh, but they got the coach builders able to get any kind of uh, support. Uh, this is the one of the limousine which is modified. Comes under the other luxurious person. Exotic look. So here you can hear it also that there are uh, more number of accents that we given at the rear side. Uh, here also you can observe that here is the more than uh, two rows of status.
the Lamborghini Aventador is meant for uh, the top is the 40 kind of a vehicle. Even there also tried uh, with uh, limousine kind of vehicle with providing an additional row uh, to the right side of the driver's seat. This is what I said. Uh, the distance between this wheel center to this wheel center is what as a wheel base. For the limousine, the wheel base is more. the two uh, uh, different types of uh, limousine design so the, after the limousine the next type is the estate car it's what you call as uh, station wagon as well so this is one of the uh, vehicle which carry uh, carries the passenger as well as the crew at the front rows two rows are meant for the uh, passengers and there will be an another row so either that can be utilized for the passenger as well or for uh, transporting the crew by just uh, doing some alteration like folding the last row of or the seats we can able to increase the the boot space or the luggage space in this particular estate for a touring uh, purpose this is one of the best vehicle so that you can able to accommodate more number of uh, passengers as well as the more amount of goods or a boot space is also available The next uh, type of uh, car body is the sports coupe. The name itself indicates the coupe kind of a design will be given. Uh, this uh, the diagram shows the two door coupe but with a sporty look. This will be by giving a luxurious and as, as well as the powerful. Powerful engine will be given. So luxury and combination of luxury and powerful we can say that it's nothing but a sports coupe. There are few examples like Porsche, Lotus, Ferrari, so that for the name, and there are other kind of uh, sports coupes are also available. There are some exotic uh, car brands is also available, such as the Lamborghini. Uh, they are not come across with uh, building uh, racing cars, but they are uh, more uh, into the sports coupe because whatever the car that they are building, uh, it's going to have uh, the more speed as well. So that's why come across come along with it, uh, come under this uh, sports coupe. So based on this, the sports coupe, uh, let's have uh, one video. So just you can observe that uh, these cars are meant for the basic products that they are testing with uh, their maximum speed. Uh, to identify how Ford is the car is. So each and every test has been performed to satisfy the test point of requirement. Terrain kind of a road so for these kind of on road basis or off road. So both of the things is uh, achievable by using this sports coupe. So the next type of uh, car body is the coupe. Coupe is uh, meant for the passenger car so with uh, sloping or truncated rear roof line. Uh, sloping is nothing but either in the roof line as well as the end you can able to observe that. So there will be a smooth curve, let's say smooth curve, smooth branch. It's not nothing like a sharp bend is available. It's nothing but a coupe car. 
either it will be coming with a two door or a three door kind of thing so this particular coupe will have a fixed roof there won't be any uh, tractable roof with a sloping roof either it will it can have a, a one row or two rows based on depending on the requirement two door coupe or four door coupe so uh, this has been started from uh, the 1940s and 1950s these are distinguished from the sedan by their uh, shorter roof areas and spoiler profile because you, know, you may observe that in the particular uh, uh, image because of the only one row there will be uh, the roof line the length is very shorter by looking at a uh, shorter roof line they are going to recognize yes oh, of course this is the coupe this is what the one of the recognized in of uh, the coupe so if you go to the next and the last uh, type of a car body style called as multi purpose vehicle mpv in short form as is one of the example of uh, a multi purpose vehicle known as a pickup uh, not only in uh, uh, the name of multi purpose vehicle the people is also referred to as called uh, the minivans or multi utility vehicle mpv mpv or anything or uh, there are many names for this so generally the primary uh, are designed uh, for uh, carrying the passengers that too, especially the more number of passengers more than four or five passengers so that's the reason why you can able to observe that there are more than two rows of seats has been provided a multi purpose vehicle or multi utility vehicle has uh, got two or three rows so where uh, six to eight passenger can able to travel if you just observe the four door saloon or two door saloon maximum of four to five members are allowed but this particular vehicle is designed for to carry more number of passengers in addition there will be a flexible interior space means at the last uh, row of seat can able to uh, by folding the last row seat we can able to increase the boot space and as well as with the proper design in the right roof we can able to feel that more interior space is available inside the uh, cabin of this particular vehicle so this uh, you just look the aesthetic from the outside uh, as well as the inside uh, the interior space you will feel more spacious because of the upright kind of art design so that's all with respect to the different types of uh, car bodies now based on the discussion that we had so we'll have a, a mcq on questionaries so here the first question it says which of the car body style comes under convertible uh convertible annavanta category alli varuvanta car body style yavudu there are four uh, options folding textile roof retractable hard top roof fourth a and b none of the uh i think you can able to guess the answer uh the correct answer is option c whenever we say convertible the roof can be uh, removed and we can able to attach it is nothing but convertible there are mainly two types first first one come up with uh, the soft kind of roof what is called as folding you can able to fold it uh, second one is hard top there will different section has been made and then you can able to retract it so the answer is option c both a and b uh, the second mcq the car which has the longest car body style longest car body is nothing but uh, the length of the car in which car yava car alli the udda uh, tumba uddavagide so the options are convertible limousine saloon estate car in the previous slide just have explained like in a convertible is nothing but uh, the roof retracting uh, mechanism will be there saloon two door or maximum four door saloon estate car uh, come up with uh, extra uh, kind of uh, door but here the limousine limousine is meant for the very longest uh, uh, vehicle so 
So where we'll have a more number of partition. So that's why the wheelbase I said wheelbase is uh, more in case of the limousine vehicle. So that's the correct answer. The right answer is option B limousine. Uh, then the last MCQ a fifth door instead of a standard sedan trunk slot will be provided in unit case. Which type of a car? There will be a fifth door has been provided. Yava car body style only. I then a door na kotre tarai keragade kotre vanta naalak car ali. So the options are saloon, gift car, sports car, pe and coupe. So here the correct answer is estate car. So because in estate car is meant for to carry more number of uh, passenger and the goods. So there will be a fifth door has been provided at the end so that is for uh, getting the goods from outside from the vehicle as well as to keep the goods inside the vehicle so that's all from this particular video uh, don't stop don't stop learning keep on learning thanks for watching